Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If I could have your attention, please. My name is Ryan Webb Johnson, proudly representing Bigot and Scott Real Estate in Glen Waverley. More importantly, of course, proudly representing the owners of this fantastic property we have available for sale today, number 13 Chivalry Avenue in Glen Waverley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with me in the crowd, I have a number of agents here to assist you with your bidding. We have Catherine Olsen here to my right. We also have Shireen Liu across the road here. Catherine Yu is here to assist, as is Grace Rodriguez. We have the birthday girl today, Yin Yin Lo. It's just our 21st birthday, Yin Yin. <laughs> Happy birthday. We also, of course, have Sergey Martinov across the road and the listing agent behind me, Julie Carl, who many of you would have met over the last four weeks. Now, should you require any assistance with your bidding today, please feel free to approach any of our friendly agents, they'd be more than happy to assist you. Now, we are selling today by way of public auction. This means that a 10% deposit will be required upon signing the unconditional contract settlement terms, either 60 or 90 days. We are conducting a scheduled one auction today, which means that today's auction will be conducted in accordance with any rules or additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. Now, as your auctioneer, I will be indicating bidders on request, and the vendors do have a reserve price. Now, the law prohibits me, as the auctioneer, from accepting any bids or offers after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The law also prohibits false bids from the crowd. It prohibits major disruptions by bidders. It prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding, and it provides fines for this conduct. The rules do, however, permit vendor bids. The words that I will use to indicate that I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are simply the words... Vendor bid. Sorry, mate, if you could just stand over there for me so I can see the crowd, that'd be great. Now, by law, ladies and gentlemen, only I, as the auctioneer, may make a vendor bid today. Now, today, one of two things is going to happen. Either one, we will sell this property under the hammer at or above the vendor's realistic reserve price, or two, the property will be passed in. Now, in the unlikely event that the property is passed in, please note that only the highest bidder will be reserving the exclusive right to negotiate with the owner at the completion of the auction. So, two very important points that I would like to repeat before we get started. Point number one, no late bids. So no late bids are permitted under Victorian law. Once the hammer has fallen, as I said earlier, the property has sold. If I'm not looking at you when that occurs, you have missed out today. Point number two, as I said also just a moment ago, only the highest bidder will have the first right of refusal should the property pass in. Only the highest bidder will be heading inside to negotiate exclusively with Julie and the owner upon a fair and reasonable sale price. The reason why I repeat these two points, very simple. I'm trying to make it as clear as possible that you must bid if you would like to be in the running to purchase what we have on offer, which is truly something special. It's a beautiful family home. Owners are very sad to see it go, of course, but they are motivated to sell today. If you're a smaller family looking for more space, if you are a large family, ladies and gentlemen, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, so we've got ample accommodation. The current owners have done a lovely job maintaining this property throughout the time they have been the owners. I think you'll all agree with me after having a look through today. It's a very well-maintained home, beautiful gardens. But going back to the features, four bedrooms, of course, a full ensuite to the master bedroom and a central family bathroom to cater to the rest of the family members. There's multiple living space, whether it be the formal lounge or, of course, at the rear, you've got the informal family area and rumpus room on top of that as well beautiful open plan kitchen with quality appliances. There's so much natural light. And one thing that I love about this home is the floor plan. It offers flexible living options as well, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are looking to move into the property, it's in fantastic condition, but it also offers a lot of potential as well. If you're looking to renovate, the floor plan really lends itself to flexible family living. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the mod cons as well, one would expect for a property of this calibre, as I said, quality appliances, but there's also ducted heating throughout. We've got split system cooling units as well. We've got ample car accommodation and these manicured gardens, very low maintenance gardens, ladies and gentlemen. You can spend more time entertaining friends and family at the rear in that beautiful courtyard rather than spending your whole weekend maintaining the garden. The location also second to none. We are inside the Highvale Secondary College School Zone where moments from Camelot rise. It's a very private, quiet street, very family-friendly street. We're also moments away from the Glen, of course, where you'll find some fantastic shopping opportunities with David Jones City 
Boat Target, Aldi, also along Kingsway you'll find some fantastic restaurants, there's bowling alleys, there's movie theatres to be enjoyed as well. Of course, Glen Waverley Railway Station with the associated bus hub. We've got buses along Highbury Road, all Ladies and gentlemen, only a moment away. Vermont South Shopping Centre with trams all the way into the city as well. And the Monash Freeway and the Eastling Freeway, not far at all. So let me summarise what we have on offer today. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, beautiful family home in a great location that's close to primary schools, high schools, shopping, restaurants, entertainment, freeway access, you name it. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, let me remind you, of course, the Union, Grace, Catherine, Catherine, Julie and Sergey are here to assist you with your bidding, as is Shereen. So feel free to approach them at any time. They're here to help. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show on the road. I'm now going to ask for a fair and reasonable opening bid to get this auction underway. We are here to sell today. You're here to buy. Who'd like to raise their hand and get me started with a fair and reasonable opening 1. bid? 2. Sorry, Grace, I missed that. 1.2. I'll take it. Welcome to the bidding today and good luck. 1.2. Million dollars calling now for a rise of 50. Flexible with that. Looking for a rise of 50 from here. 1.2 to my left. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have got this auction underway. Now is your chance to bid. Don't forget, no late bids are permitted today. $1,200,000. Looking for a rise of 50,000 anywhere at all. As I said, feel free to speak to our friendly agents. They're here to assist you. $1.2 million. The bid is here. Looking for a rise of 50,000 anywhere at all. This is your chance to get some skin in the game. You're currently in the driver's seat, sir and ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, $1.2 million looking for a rise of 50,000 from here to 1.25. First call at $1.2 million. As I said, owners very committed to selling today, but you must bid if you would like to be in the running to purchase. It's as simple as that. Why don't we meet halfway? I'll take 25 to one. There it is. Thank you very much. 225 against you now at 1 million. Another 25. 25. There it is. 2-5 against you. Another 25 now. 1 million 250 to 1 million 275,000 to put you back in front. Is that a yes? 1 million 250. The bid is here. Looking for a rise of 25,000 now. First call at 1 million 275,000 is what I'm after. We're at 1.3. Sorry, the bid's with you, Grace, at 1.25. I was after 275 over here. Oh, sorry. I thought you More said than happy to... No, I'm looking for 275 oh, okay. at the moment. But hold that 1.3. Don't worry, I'll come back to you. We take 21.27. I'll take it. 2.713 now. There it is. All right. 1.3. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, that's all right. I don't mind. You can increase your own bid at any stage. 1.3. 1.3 against you now at 1,300,000. Happy to take another 20, no less. 1.3. Looking for a rise of 20. 20. There it is. Thank you, Catherine. 3, 2, 3, 4. Or more. Another 20. 20. There it is. 1, 3, 4 against you now, sir and ma'am, at 1,340,000. Looking for 360 now. 1,340,000 now. Ladies and gentlemen, 1,340,000. The bid is here to my left. Looking for a rise. Ladies and gentlemen, $1,340,000. The bid is here to my left. Looking for a rise of 20,000. I'll even consider a rise of 10 if you like to 135. 1,340,000 now looking for a rise of 10 or more. Preferably more of course. 1,340,000 bid is here. First call at 1,340,000 now. Second call at 1,340,000 dollars. Third and final time I'm looking for 1,350,000. Don't forget, once the hammer has fallen, the property has sold. There are no second chances today. There is only one 13 Chivalry Avenue available for sale. And I can't guarantee when this property or anything like it will become available again in the near future. If you fail to bid now, you've missed out. And I can tell you what, it's a long drive, a long drive home with the brochure in your hand. We're at 1,340 looking for at least another 10,000. Happy to make it a free horse race if you would like to get involved. One, three, four. Catherine looking for a rise of 10,000 going once at 1,340,000 now. Twice at 1,340,000 now. Third and final time, 1,340,000. Happy to take a rise of 10 to 135. 1.35. Thank you, Union. 1.35. 
Now we're looking for at least another 10, sir, against you and ma'am, of course. 135 bid is here, 136 perhaps to put you back in front. Ball's back in your court at 1,350,000. Yep. 36, there it is. Against you now, sir and ma'am, at 1,360,000. 37, 37, there it is. 38. $1,370,000 looking for 1.38. Don't forget, Highvale Secondary College School Zone. Camelot Rise. 38. The, there it is. Thank you very much, Grace. 1.4. 1.4. There it is. 1.4. Looking for a rise of another 10,000. Ladies and gentlemen, with that bid, I can announce now that we are on the market. We are selling today the highest bidder will be walking away, ladies and gentlemen, with the knowledge that they have purchased a fantastic property in a fantastic location. As I said, this really is an incredible location, the capital growth in this particular pocket of Glen Waverley. Would you like to announce it anyway, Julie? Just you, you made all the trouble of going inside. On the market! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So just to be clear, we are playing for keeps today. The hammer will fall and we will all have the pleasure of welcoming the new owner to the neighbourhood. 1,400,000, it's against you. Failed to bid now, you've missed out. 1.4, the bid is here. No further bids, you'll be the new owner. It's against you, you've still got some time to think about it, but if we fail to bid, we're done. Same applies over to my right here. You've started the bidding, happy to see you finished the bidding. 1.4, we're on the market today, we're selling. Okay, there it is, 1.4. Everyone else, potentially your final chance to bid. $1,400,000, looking for a rise of perhaps $5,000 to move things along. Otherwise, we have sold today. $1,400,000. The bid is here. $1,400,000 going once. $1,400,000 twice. $1,400,000 third and final time. Any latecomers, this is your final chance. If you fail to bid, the hammer will fall. You've missed out. This is it. We're playing for keeps. Make no mistake. $1,400,000. I'll make the rounds, check in with everyone, and then it looks like we'll be selling. Are you absolutely sure? Over here. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your bidding today, if that's the case. Over here. Are we 100% certain? We're at 1.4. Happy to take even a rise of 1,000. We're done. Okay. Thank you all so for your bidding. It's looking good over here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll call it for the final time before I knock the property down. This is your last chance to bid. $1,400,000 going once. $1,400,000 twice. $1,400,000 third and final time. Are we all done? Are we all silent? Are we ready to buy a house? Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if that's the case, if we are all done, all silent, all finished, and today I have the pleasure of announcing that we are selling. We are selling. We have... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to another Biggin and Scott auction. It's been a pleasure having you here. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to change the clocks. We'll see you next time.